What's up? Today, I'm unboxing and inspecting another small block Chevy intake that I got off eBay. Well, actually, there's a twist. <laughs> you can see right here on the box, it says Amazon. Although I did buy this intake off eBay. Anyways, when you buy something off eBay, you got about 30 days to inspect it and check it out or send it back. And I should be finishing up those cylinder heads video, but it's already been three weeks and I don't want this to be last minute. So if there's any, you know, back and forth of the negotiating, if there's a, you know, return, you know, partial refund and so on. And you can see right here, got a nice hole in the box. I'm not sure how, you know, if that got anything, the car pad is roughly in this area so hopefully the intake is all good and not damaged so anyways rambling enough let's get to it open this sucker up seems to be packed nice the box is you know well it was nice and sturdy until I started cutting the tape <laughs> Oh, nice foam. That's good. And there it is. My brand new eBay generic small block Chevy dual plane intake. Now, there were several other options on eBay, but I wanted an intake with a full divider and no notch. And the air gaps I saw, because this is not an air gap intake, as you can see right here, they only had the notch. And that's why I decided to try this intake out. Anyways, let me pull it out of the box and I'll check it out and we'll get back to you. All right, I just looked over the intake. But before we get to that, I forgot to say how much I paid for this thing. I only paid uh, 125 bucks plus tax, so really like 132, 133. And that was cheaper than Amazon, which, you know, it says in the box where it was supposed to be from. Which, by the way, that's better packaging than the last few intakes I got, which are over there. I still gotta finish those. <laughs> and, you know, it was a good deal. I mean, the ad originally said like 129.99 or something like that. But I made an offer of 125 and they, they took it, so, you know, awesome. Here you can see the ad for yourself. Looks like I actually had 60 days. Oh well, 129.99 and I used the make offer option to save five bucks. Of course, as I'm editing, the price has changed and it's now 139.99. Prices often fluctuate on eBay. Here's the part number for any interested. And it does say the RPM range is up to 6,500. Anyways, here's the intake. So far, so good. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. You know, your typical kind of rough casting flash, but you know, I've seen worse, you know. It's not terrible, but not great. The machining looks good, you know. So far, nothing really bad. There's a few, you know, visual blemishes, but nothing I can really feel angle on that see it looks like a scratch but that's nothing overall it looks pretty flat though I'm gonna check it in a minute with a straight edge the rest of the machining looks fine and I wanted this style intake also because it already has the rear ports drilled and tapped I like to put you know cool out of the back port just a little so that's a nice feature you may have noticed in the last clip there was this bag of uh, adapters that was in one of the plenums, you know, low side like that. And that's for, of course, the center holes, which, you know, if you got the straight, which is like a, the TBI style, or you know, the typical older 12 volt, which, you know, you know, that's interesting. I'm using a, possibly those heads, you know, we'll, we'll see. I gotta modify them, and <laughs> that's another video, which we're not gonna, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Anyways, this intake looks good. I mean, I still got, fully check it out, you know, get into the threads and such, but so far, so good. Oh, here, let me grab my 
wood block to do this. Get in there. There it goes. <laughs> it stays without the wood block now. Grab one of these gaskets over here. Got your typical Felpro blue, which I have on there backwards. You can see right there. Put it on right. And the port alignment's not too bad for your, you know, your typical small block Chevy gasket. You know, you can finesse it a little here and there. You'll get nicer, but pretty good. Although I think a 1205 <clears throat> would be more ideal for these ports. Oh, got the wrong way again. Gotta line up with the bolt holes. You can see right there. Uh, that would be the gasket of my choice for this intake. Overall, even on the other side, this side. The poor alignment is not bad. No. A little bigger than other intakes I've seen, like uh, the RPM air gaps or the just, you know, the EPS intake I've had. Oh, before I flip it back over. I did notice there's a partial faded part number right over here. You can see that, so I don't know what that you know was, but it's just interesting. Again, the flanges on this side, the machining looks you know pretty good. There's a few you know small nicks, but nothing really bad. I mean, no horrible defects like on that Speedmaster intake. Which, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I made some videos. I made some other intake videos. Speedmaster, one that I got for a good deal, one Black Friday, and pretty much how I prep and clean up these intakes, which I'll link those in the description. So let me go grab my flat edge and we'll get to checking this intake a little bit closer. Oh, I almost forgot too, if you look at this. It almost appears the flange is at a bit of an angle. It's hard to, it's really hard to see, it's only like a, a slight angle. It does appear to be flat, but it appears to be down a little on this corner, you know, just a little bit. So, it's not a big deal. As long as it's flat and it seals, that's what really matters. Okay, I just checked out the intake best I could, and the car pad is flat. See for yourself, here with my start straight edge. Try not to spike the camera mic. You can see right there. Flat. And I checked it every way, you know, you know, crosswise, straight, 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 you know. She's flat. So that's awesome. Then I went ahead and checked all the threads. Oh, this is flat too, just in case you wondered. <laughs> but I checked all the threads and only one of them right here for the half inch NTP was a little eh, only going about a thread and a half maybe. So I think I'll run a tap in there just to be safe, but everything else checks out. I mean, I can't, you know, find anything I really dislike about this intake. I mean, it's, you know, so far so good. No real complaints. There is another spot I forgot to show. I'll flip this up here real quick. Is this side? No, it's the other side. Right there. There's these bumps, which I'll grab my light, you can kind of see it right there, right by the casting dot is a bit of a divot, there's a bump behind it, right, you know, just behind it, on both of them, maybe a little bit easier to see on this one. So I will grind that down, right behind that casting dot, which you can see the dot, right there, and there's a bit of a bump right behind it. So. Oh, not ideal, but you know, just a little bit of grinding. Of course, the port finish is not perfect, but I've seen worse on Edelbrock intakes. So this is, you know, just I guess par for the course when you clean up an intake. It's going to be casting, you know, you know junk. <laughs> Anyways, let me grab another intake. We'll do a quick comparison and wrap this video up. There, I grabbed the 
Dart SHP intake to compare. And here's the part number right here. I'll just, well, actually there's the instructions right there. <laughs> there's the part number for this intake. You can see they're, they're pretty similar, except for one's an air gap and one is not. I got some blocks and they're kind of getting the same height, otherwise because of the air cap, I guess, valley pan, this intake can sit higher on the table and that one, it would appear to be lower if I didn't put those blocks in there, but you can see if they were sitting on the china wall of the block, they're about the same height right now. Not perfect, but close. Anyways, the basic style plenum and runner layout of both intakes is about the same. There are some small differences. Before those other differences, I want to point out something that I forgot to mention in that clip. And that is an obvious difference. The letter D shape for the upper plenum on the new intake compared to having two ovals on the other intake. Now some say the D is for a better shot at the other runners. Still, others say radius is important. For example, What do you guys think? There are some small differences. You know, other than the air gap, you know, down here, the main notable difference is this notch. And as I said earlier, I wanted this dual plane because I do not want a notch for the truck project I plan to use it with, with possibly those heads, which are a smaller runner, uh, like a 175 or so. Anyways, back to the intakes. There are a few minor differences, like if you note back here, on either intake, this one is slightly different. Though the general runner sh you know, shape on this side is about the same. It appears down here in the plenum, the deeper plenum, it's a little different right about there compared to this plenum. Overall, it appears the plums are about the same shape. I mean, they got different, you know, pattern on the floors, of course. But this one is still about the same size. It's just shifted a little more over that way compared to this one. At least that's the way it appears to me. I mean, there's general differences on either intake because they're different styles, you know, air gap and non-air gap. But overall, the plenum and runner layout is pretty close to the same. As I demonstrated earlier, they're about the same height, so I would classify this intake at roughly 6,000 to 6,500 RPM, you know, because this one I believe is classified as a 6,000, although when I compare it to the RPM air gap, the Edelbrock intake, this, this runner was, I, mean, I think the plumb was maybe a tad smaller than that. And I would say this is closer to the RPM air gap, which I should have dug one out, but they're really buried right now. I don't, don't want to do it. <laughs> Sorry about that, but this is this is good enough comparison. You can see for yourself, this is a higher rise dual plane versus like the old style performer or even the EPS, which is what I wanted for the truck project since I'll have more hood room. Although I wouldn't have minded the air gap. Technically, having an intake with a little bit of heat, even though I won't have the exhaust crossover. This intake, those heads do not have that function. Although well, they can be, they can be made to have, but I'm not going to. It'll be a little warmer, which should be make it the, make it a little more street friendly. The air gap will make it, you know, cooler, which cooler will make more power, but necessarily isn't so great for, I guess, you know, drivability, atomization, and such. At least that's what I hear, and a bit of my opinion. So. Should be a better, you know, street intake, and it's much cheaper. Cause I mean, the price on these intakes is just skyrocketed. I mean, I pay like a little over 200 for this intake, and like just under 200 for both any any RPM air gaps that I have. And now I think they're more closer to 400 or so. Or again, I pay for this intake about 125, you know, 133 attack. So, you know, quite a savings over these intakes. 
anyways <laughs> in my Speedmaster video I go over my other intakes a lot more detail I ramble more in that video than this one so if you want to see those intakes be sure to check the link in the description I'll wrap this up and just say I'm happy with this intake you know I think it's you know a good deal it's gonna work for what I want as I said you know I don't want that notch in the divider and if I do want it later I can always add an open spacer or just change one of my other intakes <laughs> anyways thanks for watching hope this helps keep it real forgot to also point out something about the bolt holes see right here they're nice and big definitely want to use a washer compared to this intake the SHP I've already opened these up some because they were too small still smaller Not as big as these holes. <laughs> now I'm just being dumb. <laughs>